Hey guys, Alan here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how I set up my pentagraph and locate uh, the, the tooling holes on both sides. This is for my homeboy, John Patisse in France. He said he's got a clone GK21 from Italy. I hope that's a Parpas, P-A-R-P-A-S. Uh, they are pretty awesome pentagraphs. I think they're actually a little nicer than the, the decals. Um, so you'll notice I have plates on top of the table, okay? Cast iron table, G10 plates. I have two pins on the side and on the back of each one of these, these plates. Two pins, two pins, okay? What that allows me to do is I could take the plate off, drill, do whatever I need to do, then put it back on the cast iron table, butt up against the uh, pin and butt up against the other two pins and it's secure. It repeats it back to zero again, okay? Same thing with this. I could take this plate off, then butt up against the pins, butt up against the pins, and secure down the table. Okay, now this table is uh, uh, back to zero, all right? Once I have located where I want these tables, I do not move them. I take these off. That's why you have no handles on them, okay? Same with those as well. That's why there's no handles on those two. These stay exactly where they're at. So on this plate, okay, you'll notice that there's four screws and two hardened pressed bushings. Hardened pressed bushings are for these locating pins that will go inside the bushings and then the screws basically lock them down. On this side, I have two locating pins one is for the pivot hole, one is for a tooling that's in the liners. And that's what it's gonna look like like that, okay? I also have screws right here to hold down my template. So how do I locate these tooling holes on this plate? So imagine this plate all new, no holes drilled, and it's mounted onto this master plate. What I will do is I'll take a stylus and then I will write, bring up the table and bring, I put the stylus into the bushing hole, which will actually lock these arms in place and it will not move. Then I'll take this lever and I'll drill a hole all the way through. All right, I won't spot it, I'll drill all the way through, okay? Then I will lower this table, move down to the next bushing, bring the table up, bring the stylus into that bushing, it holds it in place because remember, the stylus is connected here, drill this hole. And then I'll do it to every single one of these pins. Okay, all these locate holes. Now what that has done is transfer this hole into the right position on this plate. So whenever I put my liner here and I have my pattern on this side, I can move it around and it will cut it two to one. I could actually take this plate off, look at it, return it back to zero if I need to do something else. I hope I wasn't talking too fast. Um, hope this helps out. Thanks a lot.